Yes. I have the screenshot slide F5. Right. Works. Works well. I'll... So, very good afternoon, all. I'm heartily thankful to WC's organizers, Professor Dikos and his team for giving me an opportunity to be here and present my paper to one of the best academicians present in this hall. And it will be a great pleasure to learn from you also and we will be sharing some of the research inputs. Well, uh, myself, Jitendra Kumar Chhabda and from National Institute of Technology, Computer Engineering Department, Kurukshetra, India. My scholar, Rajesh Ranjan and myself, we have authored this paper and it is related to optimization algorithm for feature selection in the domain of computer science and engineering. The overview of the presentation is here in form of feature selection methods, search strategy, problem statement, the AOA algorithm, the limitations, modifications, and the results followed by the conclusions. The current technology is having now a lot of data. 10 years ago, we used to say the data availability was a challenge now data abundance abundance is the other challenge lot of data available lot of different sizes unstructured structured but high dimensionality data and of course many times normalized also not normalized or maybe if you say orthogonality probably missing there so lot of redundancy lot of overlapping lot of unnecessary information filtering needed and we have highly correlated data at lots of stages. Due to that, most of the models will also suffer and probably the accuracy will go down. Time requirement will be definitely higher and probably exponential growth for certain algorithms in case of going for the all exhaustive search to be applied. Hence, feature selection is one of the commonly used technique which tries to reduce the data by identifying the most useful features probably orthogonal in nature or unrelated also. And then also out of that also those which are outliers or which are uh, less relevant or which are leading to the biasness, those need to be sub eliminated in one way or other way. And that is what is a feature selection methodology. So feature selection is one of the pre-processing steps useful definitely with the machine learning, but not only machine learning, be it soft computing, be it meta heuristic algorithms, everywhere this has a role. The primary advantages of all this being in form of the better accuracy level in terms of supervisor as well as unsupervised learning. Of course, the storage requirement definitely decreases due to this and computational cost also can be significantly lower if we have got a good reduction. And obviously, visualization and predictive analysis will become much more simpler, faster as well as efficient. So, primarily, the feature selection methodologies being used in the literature are based on the three different techniques. One of them is called as a filtering, as my friend has also recently talked of applying certain filters. Wrappers are being used for various classifiers-based methodology and wrapping along with the other machine learning, learning process can become a good way of doing the classification for the overall data along with feature selection. Embedded where, where the feature selection along with the learning process, they are simultaneously integrated and they are not into the phases, they are not sequentially applied, they get simultaneously applied. So the complexity of the programming as well as algorithmic complexity slightly increases and that could lead to uh, lesser uh, accuracy or could be even higher computational cost, maybe higher timing also. So embedded is not that preferable in many of the situations and other two are probably used. Whenever we are talking of these subsets to be identified either through, through any method, whether filter or wrapper or embedded, ultimately they have to go into a search space. And because of high dimensionality of the search space, high dimensionality of the data, search space becomes a too big. When it's a too big, obviously exhaustive search, which could be the best possible way, but it is ruled out because it will be really impossible to go for all permutations and it will be exponentially growing and the, with the data size, effectively computation will never complete. Random search, well, randomness works at many stages, but of course it has its own limitations. 
you can't expect the optimal or near optimal results most of the time through the random process only and initial stages it could work but later we need guided searching for exploration as well as exploitation or things like that hence heuristics and meta heuristic search techniques are being frequently used and they are kind of a depth first search which is used over the graphs and n dimensional graph being considered and we are trying to have uh, into a n dimensional coordinate geometry uh, space if we try to have heuristic and meta heuristic search it could be one of the reasonable ways which we have been exploring and using so meta heuristic becomes a general purpose optimizational algorithm which is inspired by certain nature inspired algorithms like a pso aco abc and many more like that and they have been found to be very promising results in the last decade or so with this particular methodology so the problem which we are trying to solve via this particular methodology is now feature selection being done using a wrapper method for meta heuristic algorithms and the algorithms which are being used from the nature inspired as a meta heuristic primarily are some of the particle swarm optimization genetic algorithms and colony optimizations crow search uh, algorithm differential evolution and many more like that all these have been used as a hybrid model as a wrapper model into the uh, corresponding machine learning supervised methodology because the classifiers available so it becomes a supervised learning and of course a lot of new meta heuristics algorithms are also coming up and recently a new uh, optimization algorithm in form of arithmetic optimization algorithm has come in 2021 2021 that is just 2 years ago and we have got this model and let me see if i can shift this okay no fine so aoa arithmetic optimization algorithm primarily depends on the arithmetic operators primarily addition subtraction division and multiplication as we normally know multiplication and division could lead to different ranges and wide ranges or wide jumps so they are more suitable for the exploration angle and addition and subtraction will be probably jumping bit into the limited space for the local optima and remaining in to the closer swarth boundaries it will be a good way for having the exploitation so aoa has been used recently Uh, in 21 and 22 for various domains for doing some kind of a data clustering as well as feature selections and what we have now found is that when we tried to apply it onto when we tried to look for this alternate as an optimization algorithm uh, we have gone through the various alternates and the overall process is similar to any other optimization algorithm used but the primarily it becoming useful for addition and subtraction ensuring the corresponding exploitation and multiplication and division taking us towards the exploration phase so obviously the process of iterations and multiple iterations based fitness will be identified initial population based on some randomization etc will be there accordingly the arithmetic operator or multiplication or this product operator these will be updated and according to this updation based on different parameters which are r1 and r2 and r3 accordingly there are certain thumb rules and based on that one of these operators will be applied of course number of iterations will increase and accordingly we expect this algorithm to converge towards the optimal solution and slowly we will have a solution which will be optimal or could be near optimal for certain situations but this algorithm has certain limitations it has its applicability primarily this is a continuous optimization and aoa always suggest to remain in a continuous domain feature selection means out of n features we would like to select m features so effectively it becomes a discrete optimization problem secondly premature stagnation becoming possible because the exploration and exploitation is not being balanced in the aoa standard operation population diversity is not being ensured because primarily it goes always towards the best solution so in the initial phases also it's not trying to go diversified and if there is some local optima it is likely to get trapped into that we needed the discrete optimization we also needed the diversity to be ensured so we have tried to modify this algorithm and improve the algorithm for having the feature selection applicability the changes which we have proposed here are uh, primarily to ensure the different iteration based population so initial population is going to take 
uh, all random or some based guided searching but instead of selecting only one or two or few particles we select initially more particles in the initial iterations so that the diversity is maintained and the different populations grow towards a different search space slowly they will be converging and they will be going towards the best solution so the population density and the population size will keep on decreasing with iterations so initially we say the maximum iteration based population size is decided but as the current iteration grows the initial population size will keep on decreasing and then overall solution set size will decrease when the current iteration number reaches closer to the maximum iteration so if i am talking of 100 iterations when we reach towards 90 or closer to 90 then the uh, this subtraction factor will increase in a big way and we will be going towards single solution or very uh, few solutions which will be going towards the best solution so the window size will be keeping on decreasing and it will be ultimately selecting one particle instead of going for the best particle always so uh, standard ai was always looking for the best particle initially from the first iteration itself we have postponed that and initially ensured the diversity secondly the modification which we have done was that they have gone with the search parameters r1 r2 etc to be always a fixed one and we have modified the mu itself not to be taken as a 0.5 based cutoff or threshold we are going to revise it and that's also being generated in between 0 to 1 in the initial phases the exploration will be purely random press and it will be ensuring to go in different dimensions so mu could be as small as 0.12 also but slowly in order to remain with the closer to the best solution or the identified solutions the mu will be going higher and higher so only the best fit solutions will be uh, going towards the next iteration or towards the final solution set so mu will be modified and exploration will be initially ensured slowly it will go towards the exploitation alternate this is going to be the modified algorithm and here uh, modified binary aoa algorithm we are going where we have applied it as a wrapper function knn classifier has been used because for classification although there are multiple options available but we found that yes knn is a reasonably simple and because our focus was primarily feature selection so of course there is a possibility to look over some more also but that's what we have explored at present the standard parameters of knn 7030 nearest and fivefold cross validation has been taken this is a modified algorithm where we have modified the moa and mop calculations based on the current iteration number itself they are they will be modified the solution size initially will be best 15%, mu will be again modified and solution set will be also updated based on the iteration number. So on the basis of this, the algorithm will slowly convert from exploration towards exploitation and will go towards the best solution that is supposedly the near optimal or best optimal solution. The data sets used by the, us are the seven data sets which have a variety of the sizes the total number of features being as small as 13 and being as big as 753 total instances starting from 208 and going up to 846 so it's a good variety number of classes also there these are the nomenclatures which we have used in the paper while showing the graphs etc and the results so that nomenclature is available the Results have been obtained in form of accuracy as well as F1 score and as well as the timing and features also. So in terms of accuracy as the standard formula, true positive and false negative and all those being taken, we have found that our accuracy has been best or better than the previous algorithm in six out of seven data sets. So except for the uh, one data set that is vehicle data set where we have very close result uh, on the gap of 0.1 only for all other cases the results are better than the AOA algorithm not only better uh, the improvement in some cases is as big as 2.26 percent which becomes a sizable improvement and the other variation where we have got close result is just varying with 0.1 percent not only the accuracy we have also tried to think of the false negatives and uh, uh, false positives also so those things also have been taken care and false positive false negative through precision recall coming into picture in form of a f score in f score case also six out of the seven results are better and other case also the results are only differing with a 0 0.001 so effectively for all seven data sets our results are promising and 
so the overall improvement in my two data sets is more than 2% and in some other cases it is 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and, and something like that. But overall the results are quite encouraging. So this is a comparison of the improvements. In some cases the improvement is as uh, something as 0 0.5, 0 0.3 but it is more than 2 also in some cases. Similarly for F1 also it is improvement is more than 2% in some cases but wherever we have in D6 slight variation that is also tolerable and this is the overall improvement. Compared to the feature size, uh, we had the big number of features. So we can see the reduction in the features is significant compared to the original features. If we say we can say the improvement somewhere it is becoming only 25% features, somewhere it is becoming 63 or 65%. Some other cases the features reduced to almost 20%. So in this case 20% and in some other cases around 60%. So on average 40 to 45% features only being remaining out of the total big features and compared to original AOA also uh, our features are almost in three cases improving significantly. In other cases they are almost comparable with the AOA algorithm. But because we have targeted that we should get the best features within the computational time. So we are able to have number of feature reduction done with a very fast and accurate processing methodology. So uh, having said that, let me conclude my results that what we have done is the comparison with the original data set versus the uh, um, improved one is already there which shows a significant, in terms of significant improvement in terms of accuracy F score as well as compared to AOA also the feature reduction and simultaneously the accuracy F1 is improving in a big way and uh, improvement is significant for six out of the seven cases and the parameters are kept the same. For all seven cases all uh, comparison shows that the uh, tables show that almost 85 percent times that is six out of seven times the results have improved and one other case the results are comparable. The number of features obtained also are significantly decreasing compared to the original data set compared to AOA also the results are almost similar or better in three of the data sets. So based on this we found that yes AOA and modified or modified this MBOAOA can be very promising in this particular domain and could be one of the good solutions to go for feature selection in data clustering domain which is the focus of research for us in the CSC domain. Thank you very much for the patient hearing. Welcome if there are any questions. Yes, sir.